Welcome back guys. I got a quick video for you guys today. I'm in my garden right now, back at home, and I'm gonna show you guys a cool way I grew some potatoes this year, and I'm going to be harvesting them right now. So we have our beautiful garden bed, and down here I have two IKEA bags, and they are what I grew my potatoes in this year. So to start harvesting, I dug through the top of the dirt and pulled out some of the plants. The first potato I found was right at the surface. Then I did a little more digging and uncovered a few more potatoes. Pulling this other plant out, it came with several more of the tubers, so I was pretty excited about that, and even dad was interested in them. To accelerate the process, I dumped the remainder of the bag into the corner of the planter box and dug through only to find one more potato from that bag. While I'm digging through this dirt, I'm going to tell you why growing potatoes in bags or even containers is beneficial. First, you can easily move them. This means that you can move them to get more sun throughout the day or even carry the bags to the shade if it is too hot out. Also, keeping all the tubers contained lets you easily harvest them by dumping the container out at the end of the season. This also ensures that no potatoes are left behind. Anyways, back to my harvest. Going through the second bag, I found this small chunk that looks like it was cut. Not sure what happened, but my guess is it may have been from the original seed potato piece that I put in a few months ago and it just happened to not sprout. Next I found this uniquely shaped potato and then a couple more small ones followed after. Approaching the bottom of the bag, this little tater tot made an appearance. And then I got to the last few. This one was at the very bottom and it had a few holes and was kind of mushy, probably because of the wettest conditions were at the bottom of the bag. Looking at our whole harvest, the left side was the first bag which got eight potatoes and the right side was the second bag that got nine. Although in the second bag, as you guys may have saw, this one is all mushy and uh, probably moldy, honestly. And there's like these little holes, like something was in there. And it also came out with this little tater tot of a potato, I mean. What the heck is that? Real quick, I'm gonna rattle off how you could do this at home. You need a 10 gallon Ikea bag and you're gonna poke some holes in the bottom. I heated the head of a screwdriver with a lighter and I stuck it in the bottom of the bag and melted the plastic that way. Then I took some cardboard just from packages from Amazon and I lined the edges to give it some structure and help it stay upright and not topple over when it's full of dirt. Um, you could use any cardboard you want. You'll read online that, oh, don't use cardboard that has ink on, it's bad for you. Honestly, all you gotta be aware about is the packaging tape. If it's plastic packaging tape or anything, just rip that off, throw it away, and then put the cardboard in. I also put a piece of cardboard flat on the bottom, blocking the drainage holes, you might say, but honestly, the water, it'll get soggy, water will still go through it. For the potato seeds, I used some old potatoes that were in my grandma's garage that were already starting to grow eyes. All you do, you cut it so there's one to two eyes per chunk, and do not put that directly in the soil. Put it on your window seal first to let it dry out, let it crust over, because if you put the wet flesh into the ground, it'll get infected and die. So let it crust over, then you're gonna put it in the soil. Then you put soil on top of it, cover it completely, just one or two inches deep. That's all you need to do. Then just water it throughout the year. I planted mine in the start of April. It is now the end of July, beginning of August. So about four months, about a hundred days about, um, but you'll know that they're ready. You'll keep watering them, but you'll know when they're ready, when the plant starts turning yellow and starts drying out. And if the plant's dead and you've been watering it, that means it's done, it's ready to harvest. Yeah, as you guys saw, my plants were totally dry. And that's how you know they're ready. And yeah, that's how I did this. Sorry I didn't have much footage of the growing season and throughout watering them and how it's growing, but I was away at school and my dad was watering them. And honestly, I wasn't really uh, sure how they were gonna turn out, you know, growing potatoes in Ikea bags, who would have thought? But I've heard that you could do it in bags. I've heard you could do it in garbage bags. Maybe that'll be for next summer. But we got 17 potatoes. You might say that's not a lot. You might say they were pretty small. These were probably about the biggest ones we got. But honestly, I would have just been happy. I would have been, I'm thankful if I got one and I got 17. So who would have known? Potatoes in Ikea bags. Thanks for watching and make sure you follow my Instagram at Anthony Funk Fishing. More videos on the way. It's such a beautiful day out tonight and I'm glad I could share my potatoes with you. Thanks for watching everyone and tune in next time. I